Good day everyone! We are the fourth year BFHM students from Bulacan Agricultural State College and we are here to present our research with the title Opportunities Established in COVID-19 Pandemic of Selected Online Food Sellers in San Ildefonso, Bulacan. As COVID-19 spread throughout the world, many businesses, big or small, got affected. Many people lost their jobs and establishments were forced to close due to bankruptcy. But just what Albert Einstein said, that in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. So as the world began to recover and slowly adapt to the new normal, Many people were able to make use of the situation as an advantage to create profit. This research study aims to show the opportunities generated by food sellers through online selling. Online selling is one of the businesses growing rapidly around the world. Through the use of internet and advanced technologies, we can search for any items we want wherever we are. Whether it is clothes, shoes, bags, school supplies, or any food items. And because of the pandemic that limits us to go outside, online selling has become a major hit. The COVID-19 pandemic that started last 2020 stole a lot from us. It kills a lot of people, taken away our jobs, close our businesses, and even make our dreams delayed. But even if we experience all this, we must continue to move forward and make nothing to something. Because of the COVID-19 that hinders us to go outside due to the fear of contracting it, we shift from physical to the digital world where most of our transactions are completed online. Because of this, online selling has served as an attractive opportunity to many. This quantitative study is being proposed to determine the opportunities established in COVID-19 pandemic. Through this study, the researchers are passionate and eager to discover the problems, solution, and opportunities that the pandemic brought to selected online food sellers in San Ildefonso, Bulacan. With the strong enthusiasm of the researchers, this study hopes to further elaborate the reliable and valid results in the interpretation of the acquired data and to find answers in the questions of this research. The statement of the problems are, First, describe the socio-demographic profile of online food sellers in San Ildefonso, Bulacan. Second, identify the problems encountered by online food sellers in San Ildefonso, Bulacan. Third, analyze the solution made to the problem of online food sellers in San Ildefonso, Bulacan to cope up with the pandemic. Lastly, determine the opportunities established of online food sellers in COVID-19 pandemic. The effects of COVID-19 to small businesses have been exposed to various challenges, and the response of online food sellers to this disruption has impacted their resilience, as well as their chances to overcome this crisis. However, there are opportunities established during pandemic, and in order to adapt the new normal environment to be able to stay in the market, Online food sellers must consider the innovation or improvement of their business to cope up with their survival and daily operation. The two important hypotheses of this quantitative research study are the null and alternate hypothesis, wherein we, researchers, predicted that the null hypothesis, which represents as H sub zero, is through online business in times of pandemic, 
it does not improve offerings of products of online phone sellers. And the alternate hypothesis, which is the H sub 1, is through online business in times of pandemic, it has improved offerings of products of online food sellers. Another null hypothesis is doing online business in times of pandemic has not increased the source of income of online food sellers. And the alternate hypothesis is on the contrary of null wherein doing online business in times of pandemic has increased the source of income of online food sellers. This quantitative research is focusing on the opportunities established in COVID-19 pandemic. The evaluation will be analyzed based on the responses of online food sellers that are located in San Aldifon, Sobulacan, dated from August to December 2021. The assessment shall be made according to the objectives of this study and will focus on the problems, solutions, and opportunities established by the online food sellers in times of pandemic. This quantitative study is limited since only a descriptive survey questionnaire research instrument will be employed to 30 online food sellers in San Ildefonso, Bulacan. And this study only concerns with the problems, solutions, and opportunities resulting from the answers of the respondents that will determine the output of the study conducted for a given amount of time. The essence of studying the factors and strategies of online food sellers that manage to stay on the market may benefit the following. The result of this study will help online food sellers and entrepreneurs to innovate or create solutions and opportunities that will surely be profitable. Despite of our current situation due to COVID-19, through this research, the customers will be able to identify the problems facing by the sellers in which they can provide a good relationship towards them. The result of this study may be an instrument that will help local residents of San Ildefonso to boost their market economy. Lastly, this qualitative and quantitative study can be a helpful guide for the future researcher to measure the accuracy and further elaboration of the related study that will be made in the near future. In the study conducted by Sultana et al. in 2021, they stated that social media marketing is a successful technology for buying and selling products online. The data on the study shows that social media platforms are the ones of the effective tools to increase the sale. According to Willy 2021, the coronavirus pandemic affects the demand for online food shopping services. This study is connected to the one that is currently being conducted. Due to the outbreak of COVID-19, many online food sellers turn to e-commerce platforms to serve their businesses. This literature is related to the study because the demand for food ordered online increased drastically during the COVID-19 crisis. And lastly, Jessica Valentina, 2020, stated online food businesses serve as an attractive opportunity for some to start a new venture. This literature is relevant to the current study, since it states that the pandemic provides potential for many people to start their own food business, allowing them to discover new business and personal opportunities. As a result, both the literature and the current study build connection between online food business sellers and the parameters studied, indicating that there is also opportunity established in the pandemic, not simply negative effects. And for our conceptual framework, the dependent and independent variables are two categories of variables in this study. The independent variable is the profile of the online food sellers in terms of length of business operation, type of ownership, employment status, and the location of online shop. 
also the effects of COVID-19 pandemic is considered as independent variable. And the defendant variable is the opportunities established by online food sellers because the opportunities established by food online sellers are based on the profile of the online food sellers as well as the effects of COVID-19 pandemic. Research Design we as the researchers use non-experimental quantitative research across sectional type of research according to its time dimension since the data are collected at a single point in time and comparisons are made across the variables of interest and a distinctive type of research to describe and determine the opportunities in COVID-19 pandemic on selected online food sellers in San Ildefonso, Bulacan. According to Estolas and Bakwe 1997, descriptive research is a study that can obtain facts about existing conditions or detach significant relationship between current phenomena. Research setting. For the research setting, this study was conducted in Saldipon, Sobulacan. The researchers prepared some questions for the respondents to be answered through online survey via Google form to gather some data. Respondents. The respondents of this non-experimental quantitative research study are the online food sellers in San Ildefon, Sobulacan. The researchers conducted the online survey to 50 online sellers whose age are ranging from 20 to 30 years. The research instrument used in this quantitative research study is a Likert scale type of survey questionnaire to assess the problems, solutions, and opportunities established of the online food sellers from the pandemic. The researchers created a link via Google Forms to collect data which was posted to different social media apps. The questionnaire also includes general direction and demographic profiles such as age, gender, income, status, and etc. Sampling Procedures This quantitative research study Use a non-probability sampling since it involves purposely choosing participants according to some identified variables and an accidental or convenience type of non-probability sampling because the participants are sampled according to what is conveniently available. In other words, those online food sellers in San Indiponso, Bulacan who agreed to answer the survey questionnaires via Google Forms and serve as the participants of the study during the data gathering procedure. The formula for our research is percent equals F divided by N times 100, where percent means percentage, F means frequency, and N means number of respondent or total sample. 